What's going on, everybody? My name is Ben, and welcome back to another episode of Ben Builds with Joe. We're back with the Lag 3 Series 11, and today we're going to be pushing forward finally on some paint and assembly of the cockpit. Now, last episode did a lot of work on the exterior. We finished off fairing in the fuselage here for the oil cooler. We added in an extra cowling vent right here on the side of the cowling, and we went ahead and reworked the extra gun port and some of the vents here on the top of the cowling. The wings are also together. They're looking pretty sharp. Not a lot of detail there, but we do have to open up the supercharger vents just a little bit more, but we'll do that next episode. Today, we're going to focus on the cockpit. At least, we're going to begin that process. Now, let's talk a little bit about paint. I've heard multiple stories. Some people say that it's a blue-gray color. Other people say that it's a gray color, and some people say it's silver. So we don't really know which color to use. My best guess is most of it would be, at least for the early lags, an aluminum color airbrushed over the entire section with a little bit of gray on some of the metal parts. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today. First off, though, we're going to queue up a time lapse. We're going to lay down our base coat of our Vallejo aluminum. Then we're going to come back. We're going to trace all those panel lines and all those details with a little bit of Tamiya smoke. That's going to give us a really nice kind of a built-in shadow effect. And I think it's going to be really awesome when I start doing a little bit of dry brushing, a little bit of weathering. We should be able to get this looking pretty sharp. Let's go ahead and queue up that time lapse to get this ball rolling and see what we can do. All right, the fuselage is all nicely painted with aluminum. We went ahead and took the liberty of touching up a couple other areas like the armor plating, the landing gears, the inside landing gear bays, all that good stuff. We also went ahead and overcoated every single panel line and detail here with the ribbing and the stringers and all that with a little bit of Tamiya smoke for the inside of the cockpit. That's really, really cool. I like how it adds a little bit of shadow without having to do much work. So we're going to go ahead and start now with some detail painting, and we're going to begin here with the cockpit leather pads that sit right there on the right and left side of the pilot. Now, I'm not sure exactly what color these would be. Some sources say they are brown. Some sources say they're black. I'm going to go ahead and kind of split the difference, and I'm going to paint them a base coat of red-brown. And the next episode after this is dry, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to probably overpaint that with a black wash. That's going to help to tone it down, push it a little bit towards the darker color, and I think that's going to be a really, really nice look. We're also going to take a little bit of our Tamiya flat blue, and I want to trace some of these wires here and give it a little bit of color variation. Now, there's an actual blue bottle that sits right behind the pilot and the armor and by the radio. I believe that's oxygen or compressed air. I'm not sure which one, but it looks like that bottle is going to be blue, so I thought, why not paint the wires blue coming off of that bottle? And if we trace that back, it goes all the way to the very front by some sort of a regulator valve and then forward past where we can see. So we're going to use a little bit of this flat blue and just paint up those wires. Now, the bottle itself, like I mentioned, is also blue, but that we're going to airbrush. And I just like the look of the airbrush a little bit better. I don't want to have to hand paint everything. I do well with airbrush. I don't do so well with hand painting. So let's go ahead and airbrush this bottle here with this blue color. Should be pretty simple. 
I'm actually running a 0.2 millimeter nozzle today. I have upgraded my 0.3 to a 0.2, hoping to get a little bit more finer detail out of my airbrushing. So I'm hoping that this is going to be fine. Right here, it doesn't really matter because it's just a one big flat color, but we're gonna have to get into some airbrushing here in the future and really put this 0.2 nozzle to the test. I think it's gonna be kind of cool and hopefully can get a little bit more detail out of my airbrushing. So I think that looks pretty decent. We're gonna put that aside for now, let that dry, then we're gonna to have to install it, and that will be a little bit tricky. So let's go ahead and pop that right off the sprue using our flesh cuts, and here is the part. Now, of course, there's a little bit of some sprue left over on the side of the bottle. We're gonna take our X-Acto knife, we're just gonna shave that off just a little bit. Now, I don't wanna to go too deep, though, because if I end up gouging the plastic, it's gonna be noticeable, and I don't wanna take off these little straps as well. So I'm just gonna go very, very gently just take off just a tiny bit there. Now let's use our tweezers here. We're gonna grab a hold of the bottle and we're gonna install it into the sidewall right here with a little bit of Tamiya Extra Thin. Just two drops, one on each of the locating holes right there and right there on the side of the fuselage, perfect. Now we can just go ahead and drop these pins right down into the locating tabs, just right about there. Nice. Give a little bit of pressure, make sure it's going to be nice and secure in there. I also took the liberty of taking a little bit of aluminum here off camera and I painted little straps right around that bottle. I don't know if you're really going to be able to see it and I'm going to tone it down a bit once I start weathering, but it's nice to know it has a little bit of color variation. I touched up a couple little errors here, but otherwise we're looking pretty sharp. So I think now we're going to go ahead and queue up a time lapse. We're going to go ahead and paint some of the detail work here with a NATO black color. And then we're going to do a little bit of dry brushing, a little bit of work, a little bit of powders, just get this thing looking awesome. All right, everybody, so our fuselage is looking pretty decent. I like it. It may not be perfect, but I think we're on the right track. So now we're going to go ahead and shift gears over here to installation. We have to go ahead and start installing some of the small little detail parts like trim tabs, levers, throttle quadrants, all sorts of crazy stuff like that. So let's go ahead and just start here by installing our very first trim wheel here on the left side of the fuselage sidewall. Now, one thing I should mention here, ICM is not really known for numbering all of their parts. In fact, if you need to know which number part you have, you have to go to the very front of the instruction manual, find the line drawing of all the different parts, find what number that part is, and then go back to your actual plastic, match them up with the picture, and then you know what number you have. It's a little bit confusing, especially coming off of manufacturers like Tamiya or Hasegawa, Ravel, Monogram, all these guys, they all have numbers right next to the part. For some reason, this kit does not. And I don't know if that's just something that ICM does, or if it's just this particular ICM run. I don't know for sure. I haven't built any other ICM kits, so I couldn't tell you. But I will just kind of warn you, if you're interested in building up this lag, there's no numbers on any of the parts. You have to kind of do a little bit of detective work, find those line drawings, match them up visually, and then you should know what part you have. A little troublesome, I have to admit, but oh well, we'll get through it. Not really a deal breaker. Now that we have most of the parts installed, we're going to go ahead and paint them up using a NATO black. Now I've talked about NATO black before. I like using NATO black, so we're going to go ahead and paint all of the control wheels, all the levers, all that stuff with NATO black. 
and then we'll let that dry so that next episode we might be able to come back and string in some easy line to add some cables and whatnot here to the sidewalls and also to the fuselage floor. I think that's going to be a really, really cool look. With all those little levers and wheels nicely painted up, we're going to set that off to the side and let that dry. We'll be back on that next episode. Now we're going to turn our attention over to the area right behind the pilot. Now there is a radio, and then there is a bulkhead of some sort, armor plating, there's a headrest, and then the seat. So what we're going to do here is we're going to install the radio and that little bit of a tunnel right there. We'll install that on the back of the bulkhead. Once that is dry, we can come back and we can paint that radio a NATO black color. You're not really going to be able to see much of that radio behind there because they have these little tiny little windows that you can kind of see down through, but you really can't notice a lot of detail. So I'm just going to do a little bit of painting on that just to give it some interest. Like I said, NATO black is going to work perfectly for that. And then I think we'll be on our way. We also might want to take some aluminum and paint that little strap over the top of that. That retention strap might want to go ahead and do that as well now as i mentioned the cockpit colors here for the lag are a little bit confusing most of what i've done here has been for the early lags so it's going to be that silver color but i also want to go ahead and paint some of the different parts and pieces a gray color that is what it calls out here in the instructions and a lot of my references show that some of the parts and pieces are painted gray so we're going to go ahead and use vallejo light gray I'm going to paint the cockpit floor, we're going to paint the bulkhead, we're going to paint the chair, the armor plating, the front control panel eventually, and also the flight control stick. All that's going to be light gray by Vallejo. Go ahead and grab our brush, do a little bit of brush painting, and grab our airbrush, and hit the rest of it. All right, everybody, we are ready to go ahead and call it quits for today. We've got a lot of the parts all painted up, so we do have to let them cure. I don't want to damage my finish or add any fingerprints, and we're going to go ahead and half let everything dry and cure. Now, I have done, though, a lot of work on the inside of the cockpit, so next episode, I want to come on back and I want to try to add in a little bit more detail, maybe some control cables, maybe some extra levers and whatnot. I've got some really cool pictures and line drawings of what the Lag 3 cockpit looks like. So I might be able to use that to go ahead and pull out some additional information and maybe some added detail. I think that would be pretty sweet. Also, the construction of this rear decking here is a little bit more complicated. So it's going to take a lot of test fitting, a lot of dry fitting to go ahead and make sure that everything fits. We don't have a lot of crazy seams to contend with. We have to work on that rear section as well. Get that pilot bulkhead in there. We got to get our cockpit floor placed in there. We have a lot more to do, so tune in next episode, guys, where we're going to be working on a little bit more detail for the cockpit and hopefully get this entire thing all buttoned up. So until next episode, guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys know the drill. Go out there, get yourself some bench time, have some fun. Make sure to drop on by Joe's channel, give him a thumbs up, drop him a comment, check out his videos. He's a great guy, awesome modeler, and we will see you back here on the next episode of Ben Builds with Joe. And until then, thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you soon. Thank you.